Welcome to Chicago. Welcome to Route 66 Dragway. You're taking a look at the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle drag racer, Larry Spider, man that grind. Before a thousand feet ends up racing the sponsor there, recruiting CDL drivers this weekend. Or truck driver or running the truck industry. break there for the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle drag racer Larry Spiderman and McBride. They've been fighting gremlins, but they've got one more chance tonight. And this crowd's going to get even bigger, so stay with us. Let's figure out what happened, and we will show you that last and final run as Vantine goes up 2-0. Congratulations, Team Vantine. Up 2-0. Up 2-0, Team Vantine. We must be in Chicago, guys. Look at this line going in, NHRA Chicago. First time since 2019. The weather's nice today, so fans are ready. What a great parking spot Larry McBride and Dave Vantine have here on the Midway, right next to the Top Fuel Dragster and Funny Car Racers. Really, really cool. Let's see what's going on with the Spider-Man as he gets ready for his second run, second and final run. Hopefully, he can put the number down that he wants. Nobody said nitro racing was easy. Larry, it's so rare to see you guys have problems though. What, what type of problem are you running into right now? I use Halloween hadn't run since September last year, you know, and we I mean, go back and I redo all my fuel system stuff and made, I don't know. Show that my, uh, I have what they call an all-in-one valve that, that regulates my whole fuel system. And uh, of course, according to the computer, it's showing that it's sticking. So, uh, I don't know, we took it all apart, we fixed it, so. Um, I don't see, I didn't really find anything wrong with it I could visually see. Uh, just put all new O-rings, just rebuilt the whole thing, put it back together and you know, keep our fingers crossed and uh, hopefully everything, I checked everything else out on the fuel system, can't find anything else wrong. But it's, uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely in the fuel system, the only thing that can cause what was causing was the all-in-one valve. So um, we just got to... Um, you know, I took it apart, like I said, and, and we fixed it, so hopefully we've got it. We'll find out here in a little bit if we got it fixed or not. Let's check in with Dave Vantine, Yellow Bullet. Guys, brand new motor. They're having some issues as well, and they made a swap. Here with Crew Chief Greg Pollard. Greg, what caused the motor swap over here? Well, I think uh, we ran this motor in Maryland on some test passes, and uh, the air is pretty good, and we've been running it fairly hard, so I guess it was just time for it to come out. Leak down on number one was a little more than we like to see. Dave Vantine, the second quickest active top fuel motorcycle racer, has been a 571. 
257 miles per hour. Looking to better that here today. We'll see what he can do. It's a hard working team over here. It takes a whole lot of behind the scenes effort to keep one of these top fuel motorcycles on the racetrack. We got all that air going through that small spot. And what you were saying is right now your concern is the burnout, that it could over rev in the burnout? Well, that's what it tried to do again. Uh, it tried to over rev again in the burnout. I called it, but I just didn't want to tear up another motor in the burnout. And uh, for some reason it's going super, super lean in the burnout, and it should not be doing that. And the only thing that can cause that is the uh, what we call the all valve, the all in one valve. So um, we took it apart, like I say, and just rebuilt it, and hopefully you can get my fingers crossed and see if we got it. So. You know, nitro racing, nitro is not your friend. You've said that enough times, I'm a believer. No. But here's the good news, you got another shot here on Saturday, massive crowd out there. What would it yeah. mean to you if you could put a number down in front of these guys? Well, it's gonna mean a lot, you know, just to be able to get down the track. You know, I'm a racer, so when you don't go down the racetrack, you're really, you know, you're really crazy. Highly unusual for my team not to go down the racetrack. Very unusual. So, uh, you know, two runs right back to back, smoke the tire, the bike's got a lot of power, so, um, you know, it, it would have, oh, you know, if it hadn't smoked the tire, we're still run good. I mean, we're still running good number, no matter what, on both runs. So not only we got some issues down low in the burnout box, but, you know, we, we, we got, we, I think we're going to have them problems fixed. I'm hoping we do anyway. And the run, if we can stop it from smoking the tire, so we're just going to take a little bit of clutch flow out of it. The track was pretty greasy, that pass. And, you know, I had the left lane on the past yesterday which was not the best lane and you know yesterday evening was a better time to run than when the, you know, the sun was shining on the track which is not a bad thing but it's not a good thing so the track was a little greasy um, but at the same time we should have got down you know I mean it's just conditions you need to deal with and we've done it before so it's not like we don't know how to do it um, but I think just from setting up since September rusty and it's um, you know, you, it's, it's like anything you do, you got to, um, you need to be doing it very often, you know, just like riding and, you know, doing stuff, you just need to be, to stay on top of it, you need to be doing it often. No doubt, um, no doubt. You know, it's, you know, it's just the way it is, it's just the way it works. Well, if anybody can step up in one pass, it's you, so best of luck here, Thank final you. session, yeah. the Spider-Man's going to try to lay one down. Absolutely. talks about the all valve there it is right there that is the all valve every component on this top fuel motorcycle is so important and especially the all valve it controls his fuel system so they're hoping they have this problem fixed and we'll see Helmet going to racers for Christ, Eddie and Dave Vantine signing it for a good cause. Jack's turn. I, I'm going to bring the value down. You don't want me to sign Come it. Oh, oh, my on, we are so thankful that Simpson donated this helmet to racers for Christ, and we've been asking drivers and riders to sign it. But my friend Jack is also going to sign it for me because he's a big part of our sport. And we appreciate Jack very much. So well, thank you. I am honored and humbled, and I do not deserve to do this. This is like if you bring a ball to a major leaguer, he'll never sign it right here in the sweet spot. He'll say that's for the manager. I'm for like all the way down here. I'm the lowly bench warmer, but I'm I'm honored. So thank you very much, Eddie. That is really cool. That is pretty cool. Bobby Malloy signed it. Mr. 609, fastest man ever, quickest man ever on a naturally aspirated nitro heart. Well, now I know why they call him the Spider-Man. Is, is that what's going to change the luck? Is that what's going to change it? We got some Spider-Man fans? What do you think? Yeah, oh. we, we, we getting ready to get on some band time. But. <laughs> well said, well said. Larry signing autographs, all smiles after his bike sounded much better. You know, that all valve, if you're a Nitro Harley fan, it's kind of like the BDK on a Harley. One of those parts that not everybody knows about, but it is vitally important. Basic. Senator Black shirt. Wow, nice shirt. How about, and a hug. How about that? That's cool. 
Good looking sticker. What's your name? Larry Janzak. Where are you from? Bonfield, Illinois. Thanks for being here, man. Supporting Top Fuel. You are the man. You got clear blue skies like this. It's a Larry signed a ton of autographs. That's what's so cool is where he belongs, guys, in front of this big crowd here on the NHRA. to catch it there, huh, Nitro? Amen. Good amount of hours. That's what we said. This stuff's hard. Top fuel motorcycle racing is you, hard. You just never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to find, guys. But that's why they do their pre-race warm-ups to check everything. Nitro, how'd that sound? Not too bad at all, really. It's a bit loose again, but she's got a stretch first line. What do you think, Dave? How'd that sound for you? Uh, I thought it sounded a lot better than it had, so I think that changing motors was a good switch. I think that belt was a good thing, so it, it shut off cleaner. It sounded better, so. Can't wait to see his final run. Good luck to see you. See what happens. Coming up here. Aaron McBride, eight fans on. Shout out to all the fans over here. Great turnout Ooh. events, and guys, it is time. Top Fuel Motorcycle, here we yeah. go. Here we go, guys, bring them to the lane. So a uh, couple things, please make sure you subscribe if you like this video, and number two, cross your fingers with me because I really hope both these guys, I wanna see a side-by-side -side five. That would make them very, very happy. It's been a trying, difficult weekend, but they're gonna bring it up, and I would say right now, the crowd is at its peak. Here we go. Look at this crowd. That's a 78 KZ 1000. You stop me. I love it. I love it. You watch Cycle Drag. Yes, You're sir. Here, man. Thanks so much. Thanks, brother. That's what's cool, guys. People watch our videos. They know what kind of bike I like. They know what kind of bike I ride. He said, stop, stop. I got to show you my 78 KZ 1000. Love those. Wait a minute. Spider-Man. I, I know you've been trying out some new riders, but is Angel? Is Angel right. giving top fuel motorcycle? I had motorcycle? pro stock. I'm going top fuel. Oh, my goodness. We're training. She's in training right now. The first part is putting the leathers on and getting used to the heavy-ass leathers. I see that. Do you think we could fit her to this bike? Do you think we could maybe adjust the pegs and the handlebars? I need stilts. Yeah, we're gonna. We're working on that. She's going to the gym now. We're, we're actually getting her to the stretching machine. When you come back, when you see her next time, she's going to be a little thinner, just a little longer. That's true. Angel, you've gone pretty fast. Could you imagine riding a nitro bike? Absolutely not. 
never ever will it ever happen. I don't not know. only because I'm not crazy enough, but I'm not big enough. I couldn't physically do this, but I love, absolutely love watching it. Well, I know you like a challenge, so I'm just gonna say never say never. These guys <laughs> might be able to figure it out one day, huh? Very well, you cool, know, you guys. Just never, you never know, right? You never know. Great to see you. You've seen That's plenty true, of true. videos yeah. where this yeah. man sets the world record. This right. goes to show you just how difficult this sport is. Congratulations, Team Vantine. It's a tricky racetrack. They've been battling issues all weekend. Joe Koenig, this sport is not easy, is it? No. It is not easy out here. Absolutely not. You know, it's their first time out. So this is their shakedown, basically, in front of 40,000 people. Not easy. Not easy at all, guys. Well, nonetheless, great job. This team will figure it out. Team Vantine, great job, it's the heat of the day. Even the top fuel cars have been having trouble out here with the racetrack, but nonetheless, Team Spider-Man McBride, they will figure this thing out. They will figure this thing out, that's for sure. And they will head back to the top end again. There's Spider-Man McBride. Well guys, it's a different kind of video. We show you reality. This is a glimpse into just how difficult the sport is. Like I said, Larry's world records, 550, 268, they're on this channel. You have seen that. He's been the object of consistency, but right now, Team Spider-Man struggling a little bit. So again, this is a very, very difficult, arduous sport, but it's still fun to watch and they'll get it figured out. He's welcome to the stage, our top fuel motorcycle if you had to describe the experience, if you can, is it comparable to anything? What is being on a top fuel motorcycle like? You know, there's only one thing I can really um, compare it to. I've only done something else this thrilling before. And this, always, this goes all the way back to 1983, but I skydived.
drive right in the middle and you know if it's anything, fast motorcycles, we're in. Cycle drag rolls on.